internet based access besides manual access to library and paper based books journals reference material various documents are available on internet through different internet based sources like encyclopedias catalogs journals theses databases institutional repositories and web of facts so through all these you can have internet based access to information at the end of this module you will be able to explore various internet based channels of information search you can get internet based access through search engines like google scholar through consortia like e show the sindhu or jstor or jgate through databases like eric intuit through digital libraries like national digital library of india or through web opacs of different libraries even through institutional repositories like kautilya or iit institutional repository now this is a snapshot of google scholar google scholar is a very versatile search engine which gives us alerts on availability of information so through search engine you can get access to internet based material or information now e show the sindhu or through consortia how you can get internet based access e show the sindhu is a is an example of consortia it is consortium by inflipnet it is consortium of journal articles books in social sciences humanities management and engineering there were earlier consortia called as indest and infonet indest was for engineering colleges infonet was for universities enlist was a database given for colleges all these three are clubbed together they are now merged and this is e show the sindhu consortium by inflipnet you can have internet based access to information through digital libraries also this is a snapshot of national digital library of india this is developed by iit kharagpur it is a pilot project of ministry of human resource development it contains resources in technology science agricultural resources also are there and humanities also are covered in this national digital library of india then through various web opacs also you can get information on availability of internet based access or on internet you can know which books which type of material or theses and dissertations are available in the libraries so all university libraries and libraries of institutes like iits have their own web opacs catalogs of british library as well as other libraries in the on, in the world like library of congress have their web opacs which give us idea about their holdings so this is a snapshot of opac or web opac of iit bombay library these are web opacs of british library and library of congress which are shown in this slide now this is snapshot of incat which is provided by inflipnet so you can have online public public access catalog or opac for indian li university libraries this will help in literature searching instead of going to individual libraries you can have a look at books theses serials which are available in the university libraries of india then there are online journals also which are available on the net 
and there are directories of these journals. So this is a snapshot of DOAJ, which is the directory of open access journals, which gives you the information on journals which are available in open access, which are free of charge. Now, another directory of open access repositories is a wonderful directory of databases of academic open access repositories. So each open door repository has been directory. Then there is directory of open access repositories, which is authoritative directory of academic open access repositories. So it gives in-depth information. You can give the search term or the topic that you want in the search box and you will get the links to the sources that is repositories in the areas in that area across the world. So the material that you get is all over the world from these directories. Now there are some sources of information on the web which gives give you information about ebooks. So this is ACM Digital Library. Ebooks are also available in Google as well as digital libraries like ACM Digital Library. So this is a snapshot of ACM Digital Library. So full ebook will be available to the researcher free of charge. There are online databases like Eric or ProQuest thesis online which give you the full text thesis online and there are also other online databases which will give you full text thesis from Britain or from USA or even from India you have Shodha Ganga. This is an example of online database of thesis that is OATD open access thesis and dissertation is a site where you can get thesis and dissertations open access they are full text open access thesis as well as dissertations and this is a very helpful site for the researchers. Then there are guides to information sources which are available on the web. So when you are doing literature search, also seek for the guides to information sources in social sciences or in humanities or in engineering or in nursing. So such guides are available online and references to such guides also are available online. Institutional repositories. These are snapshots of two institutional repositories that is IIT and IGIDR. One is IIT Bombay and the second Kautilya is institutional repository of IGIDR that is Indira Gandhi Institution of Development Research which gives digital resources in economics and the research material produced by the staff or the teachers of IJIDR. There is another good institutional repository, Duty. This is digital repository of Cochin University of Science and Technology. This is a digital service that collects, preserves and distributes digital material. Thus, we have seen the examples of repositories which are important tools for preserving the organization's legacy and they facilitate digital preservation and scholarly communication. So you can have full text book chapters written by the faculty or conference papers, technical reports, journal preprints or as well as post prints, working papers. Sometimes patents also are given, for example, in IIT institutional repository. So there can be treasure that 
the institution has which is given in an institutional repository. Among the sources of information on web, subject portals or gateways as they are called are very important. For example, SOSIG or Social Science Information Gateway, this is its earlier name, is now renamed as Intuit. And under Intuit, you will get the information on social, uh, the subjects related to social sciences. We are going to cover detailed information on Intuit in another module. Access to information through consortia. Consortia is that institutions come together and share their resources. JSTOR and JGATE, of which you are seeing the snapshots just now, they are commercial consortia. And you will get journal articles and books also, but these are priced or subscribed by the libraries. There was also INDEST consortia for AICT institutions, which is now merged into Ishodha Sindhu. So, under Ishodha Sindhu, INDEST consortia comes and hence, this was earlier consortia for engineering colleges, science and technology institutions, as well as management institutions. Now, it is merged into Ishodha Sindhu. Thesis and dissertations. Now, there are online theses that are available. Let us see the databases of Indian theses that are available on the net. Shodha Ganga is the database of Indian full text thesis. Similarly, there are two other databases that is, Shodha Gangotri is the database of the topics of the ongoing thesis, that is thesis which are not complete. So that while the selection of the topic is going on for the researcher, this is very useful and this is by Inflibnet again. Shodha Gangotri is designed by Inflibnet. Now third database of Indian thesis and dissertations is Vidyanidhi. Whereas Shodha Ganga gives full text thesis, Shodha Gangotri as we have seen is a database of ongoing research in Indian universities and Vidyanidhi also is another database of Indian thesis. So before selecting your topic, you can go to all these databases and see whether the research on your topic of choice has been already done, then accordingly go in for obtaining those thesis from the universities or from the institutions that you desire to go to. Now, ProQuest thesis and dissertations is a database of dissertations and thesis whether they are published electronically or they are in print and they are available for purchase. This is available for purchase. Access to this database may be limited. So you have to consult your library for the access of information. There are also some free resources under the ProQuest and if you go to this site, the snapshot is given, sometimes some free resources also are available. They are in social sciences or in humanities, in sciences, in technology, but this is a paid database. This is a database of international thesis. Earlier we have seen the databases of Indian thesis. Summary. To sum up, we have seen Net-based information sources like OPACs or online public catalogs, databases that are available on the net, databases of thesis and dissertations, and also journal articles, consortia access. All these will make your journey of research very fruitful.
थैंक यू